So the last time I made this video, how to create photo collage for a flyer or anything, some of you said you do not understand. All right, in today's video, I will explain another step-by-step -step process for you guys to understand how to create a photo collage, a round photo collage. All right, so stick around to the very end of this video so you don't miss out on any step. Without any further ado, follow me to current draw. Now, welcome back to Corridor, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to create our ellipse tool using our ellipse tool to create an over shape. If you like, don't understand this one. Now, select your ellipse tool on your toolbar. Hold Control or your Command key for the big boys. If you're a big boy here, hold Command. Now, use it to drag this way to get a perfect um, shape. All right, to get a perfect shape. Now, these are the pictures we're going to make use of. I got this from Pinterest. You can make any, uh, you can make use of any picture of your choice. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to bring our rectangle tool to draw a box this way. All right. So the reason for this box is to create a demarcation between the boxes. Do you understand where you're going to place your image? Now, what you're going to do is Select everything, highlight everything, press letter C and press letter E. Letter C for center, letter um, E for centralized alignment. Yes. If something is like this, select this, press C. Do you understand? It will bring it to the middle. That is what I is that is what I'm trying to explain. Do you understand? Now select this box. Once you select this box, select it this way, select it again. You will see the anchor point will change to a rotational anchor point. Okay, somebody is confused. If you select this one now like this, once you click on it again, it will still give you another rotational anchor point for you to rotate it clockwise or is it anti-clockwise or clockwise whoa shall I try and understand now what we're going to do is select the anchor points drag this way all right then you've gotten a demarcation drop it if you're satisfied depending on the number of um boxes you want all right then once you do that press ctrl r on your keyboard control is the key that is the last the last key that small key you're seeing that has t c t l or ctr it's called control then there's command for those of you using macbook right press letter r control r sorry to get this box do you understand now like I said, depending on the number of boxes you want. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six boxes. Now, if you're creating your box, it depends on the number of pictures you have and the design you're trying to achieve. Do you understand? If you like, don't understand. Now, select this box, select this box, select this box, all right? You selected these boxes. This one. This one that looks like star. Now, what you're going to do is hold your shift key. Shift key is the one that has an arrow on it. There's an arrow and it's written, it's written there, shift. Press it. Then with your mouse, press this or select that over shape you're seeing there. Ah. I don't know how to explain this thing to you again. Well, if you don't understand, that means you're not subscribed to my channel. You won't <laughs> After selecting it, go to your trim on your property bar. Look at your mouse. Stop looking at me. Select that trim on the property bar. Once you select trim, automatically it will trim that over shape you're seeing, giving you same shape of those boxes you see 
Now, let me remove the boxes so you see what we've got. Select this, select this, select this. Let's remove this. You can delete it. You can cut it if you want. Now, you see we have this shape that looks like oranges or pizza. For those of you who like pizza, this is how it, they used to cut it. You cut and chop, cut and chop. Do you understand? No, tell me. Do you, between me and you, do you understand? If you don't understand, subscribe, drop me a comment again. I will do another video. Now, once, once you do this, all right, you can see they are all together. Right click on it, select break curve apart. The shortcut is control plus K. Shortcut is control K. You've cut one pizza, you've cut another pizza. Now, um, what you're going to do is bring another ellipse to ellipse to right to draw another cycle over here so to do that hold on for this please to do that draw this way now make sure these are all selected this one select them once you select them use ctrl g to group them or you convert your property but you see group here you can see it group objects look at your mouse when they look me you can see group objects over there ctrl g is the shortcut all right the reason why you want to group them is for everything to be together now select this box you can see it is not centralized you can see Highlight everything. Same method we did before. C, letter C on your keyboard, then letter E to bring it to the middle. Do you understand? Now, what you're going to do is, depending on the um the the way you want the angle to um the shape to be, right? The middle. The the way you want it depends on how this one will be. If you want it this way. You do it this way, all right? If you want it this way, you do it this way. Now, this is what you're going to do. Let's say we're satisfied with this. I'm going to select this one, then hold my shift, then select this one. That means you've highlighted everything. Now come to your trim again to trim this. Do you understand? Okay. Now, for this one, you can see, if I remove this, this is what you're going to have. So now, let me just bring this one here because we are going to make use of it letter. We are going to make use of it letter. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to right-click on this and right-click on this one. All right? Click on, on group. Do you understand? Now, we have this. We have this. Now, Bring in this picture, right click on it and select power clip, place it anywhere you feel like. Bring this picture, right click on it, select power clip, place it where you feel like. Bring this picture, right click on it, select it, place it where you feel like. Bring this picture, select it, place it where you feel like. Bring this picture, select, select power clip, place it where you feel like. Bring this picture, right click on it, select power clip. With this arrow, point the arrow to where you want to power clip. It's not magic. Point the arrow. This arrow you're seeing. Let me do it again. If you right click, you will see power clip. Make sure you're right clicking on the on the, on the object. Go go go. Shubo. Right click on it. Select power clip inside. Hmm. Once you select power clip inside. This arrow will come up asking you where do you want to carry this picture to. Then I will point to where I want to carry it to. And left click. When I mean by left click and right click, see, this is your mouse. This is left click. This is right click. This is left click. This is right click. And this is your scroll button. Do you understand? If I'm scrolling, you can see it's scrolling my, my screen. Shogbo, I'll teach you elementary, still teach you university pattern. Oh, 
You can see that the pictures are hidden somehow. To make it come up, um, right click and select Edit Power Clip. There's still shortcut for it, but I'm not sure. Now, bring this one here. Once you're done adjusting it, anyone that you feel like is not suitable for you, that is not okay, you can, you know, adjust it by selecting and right click and select Edit Power Clip, then come over to this and be adjusted. You can see this one is hidden. Right click, select Edit Power Clip, Reduce it to your choice. Then you can close it. Let me teach you the shortcut. Hold Alt key. Alt key. When you hold Alt key, select it. You can, can easily do it from inside. You can see Alt key. If you don't want to go into the, the power clip itself like this, Right? If you want to go into the power clip itself, you can use Alt key. Alt. Alternate. It means alternate. Alternative. Oh. Okay. This is my student. So I'm going to delete this image since it's not necessary anymore. All right? So over here, guys, this is how we created this. Now for this one, we can choose to remove the black stroke. Somebody was they asked me what is black stroke. Black stroke is this line you're seeing here. They are called black stroke. If I come over to my color palette, on top of my color palette, you see a white, empty white room that, that has nothing on it, but it has a white line that is striped like this. Right click on it, it will take that thing out. To take, you can see, this is your before. This is your after. This is your before. This is the after. Do you understand? Come and tell me you don't understand this video. I know that your village people are looking for you. So, this is how we created this. If you want to add more designs, you can just add another ellipse to here. Maybe add a color this way. Do you understand? Maybe you can just add the color. That's if you want to create more designs, so if you want to do any paparazzi, well, I like my designs being simple. So this is how we created this um, unique photo, lovely collage in Corredor. If you have any question, please make sure you're subscribed before you ask me a question. And share this video with your friends because um, somebody out there might be interested in this. Now, secondly, for those of you who think I... I my video are long. I explain too much. It's the same you guys that always send me message that please I don't understand when I'm fast. If I do video that is fast, you say I am doing it that people don't understand. If I do it slow, you say I'm wasting your time. See if I'm wasting your time, go and scroll to another channel. Go and so on, subscribe to this channel and go and watch another one that will be faster and you will not understand. I'm not here to beg. You. No, please subscribe, please. Shugba, if I'm passing value to you and you think uh, it's important, subscribe so that I can make my hair.